In what was formerly the ancient Greek colony of Cumae in Italy, archaeologists are currently investigating an acropolis that has guarded its secrets for millennia. Typically, these experts uncover the remains of the region's elite in long-sealed tombs. However, inside one such vault, the team stumbled upon a detailed mural that provides new insights into a forgotten past. This mesmerizing 2,000-year-old mural has unveiled the concealed history of an ancient Italian city. Despite the prevalent focus on the Romans in modern history books, Italy has been a melting pot of various cultures since the Phoenicians arrived in the 10th century BC. In the 8th century BC, facing threats to their homeland, the ancient Greeks ventured out to colonize and trade with other lands due to crises like climate change and famine. Greek settlements soon emerged in Sicily and on the Italian peninsula. Although eventually absorbed by the expanding Roman Empire, Grecian culture flourished in Italy for many centuries. In the early days of Greek colonization, settlers from the island of Euboea arrived on the Campania coast, approximately 15 miles from present-day Naples. Prior inhabitants, believed to be from the Bronze and Iron Ages, had occupied the site. The Greeks founded the colony of Cumae around 750 BC on fertile ground flanked by the ocean. As the city prospered, it sent settlers to establish new colonies in Sicily and Greece. Over centuries, Cumae's influence extended along the Campania coast, reaching Punta Campanella on the opposite side of the Bay of Naples. Greek culture firmly took hold on the Italian mainland, and the Euboean alphabet, a precursor to the Latin alphabet, originated in Cumae. Despite facing opposition from the Etruscans, Cumae thrived until 421 BC when the Oscans conquered the city, erasing many aspects of its Greek culture. Under Roman rule in 338 BC, Cumae became a quiet backwater, but it experienced a revival in the first century BC, becoming a popular retreat for affluent Romans. While Pompey succumbed to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, Cumae apparently escaped unarmed, receiving only a minor sprinkle of ash. The city, divided into an acropolis and lower coastal sections, boasted temples, a stadium, baths, and an aqueduct. Despite facing Gothic Wars in 535, Cumae endured until its destruction in 1205. Unlike many fallen cities, Cumae was never entirely forgotten, drawing attention from artists and archaeologists over the centuries. Excavations around Cumae began in the 17th century, unearthing remarkable treasures. In 1738, the ruins of Herculaneum were discovered during construction work, leading to subsequent excavations. Unfortunately, the abandonment of Cumae in the wake of these discoveries made it vulnerable to looters. Official excavations commenced in 1852, exploring various sites, including the Masseria del Gigante Amphitheater and the necropoles beneath the city. Despite challenges from looters, archaeologists continued their work in the 19th and 20th centuries, revealing captivating sites such as the Temple of Apollo, the Temple of Jupiter, and the Crypta Romana. Beneath the city, an ancient military tunnel was discovered, along with the Cave of the Sibyl, a grotto intricately carved into the rocks. This location is believed to be where a renowned Sibyl, known for her oracle, once delivered prophecies. While oracles were common in ancient times, the Cumian Sibyl was particularly famous. According to beliefs, the Sibyl wrote her prophecies on leaves, leaving them at the entrance of her cave. She was also thought to have connections to the underworld, possibly using nearby tunnels to mimic the river Styx. In the early 21st century, a team of French researchers, led by Collège de France's Jean-Pierre Braun and Priscilla Munzi from the French National Center for Scientific Research, arrived in Cumae. Their excavation focused on one of the city's ancient necropoles, once part of a developed area with roads and a Greek sanctuary. The archaeologists discovered relics from the region's intriguing past, including hundreds of tombs cut into the rock beneath the city. Among these tombs were vaulted spaces, previously used as burial chambers, and constructed from a local volcanic rock called Tuff. 
Each space comprised a series of three tombs inside a single chamber, intriguingly sealed with a single large rock for easy interior access. Despite some tombs falling victim to looting during the 19th century, the archaeologists recovered relics, including human remains and funerary goods. Analysis of these findings indicated that the chambers had been in use around the 2nd century BC, with likely high-ranking members of Roman society as the inhabitants. Despite Cumae transitioning from a Greek colony to Roman hands, tombs discovered at the Cuman Acropolis were mostly colored with white or red paint. However, in June 2018, the team stumbled upon a unique chamber adorned with an intricately detailed painting. The mural depicted a naked servant holding a jug and a vase forged from silver. On the other side of the door, a citala, an amphora-type jar, and a table were painted, along with a crater complete with a stand elsewhere. These elements suggested a scene of a banquet, with experts believing that figures of guests were initially painted along the tomb's side walls, now missing, leaving only traces of landscapes. The fact that this tomb contains such an elaborate mural is considered evidence that its occupants belong to Cumi's elite. The high quality and vibrancy of the colors further support this notion. Munzi, one of the experts, emphasized the uniqueness of this discovery, as it was the first case of a tomb with such a detailed mural, providing valuable insights into the artistic and cultural aspects of Cumi's ancient elite. Ongoing research aims to uncover more about the occupants and the significance of this remarkable find. There could have potentially been up to three high society Romans interred in this tomb. Despite the appearance of three separate beds, further research is required for the team to confirm the actual number of individuals buried there. While media coverage has predominantly focused on the mural's content and its somewhat provocative nature, depicting a naked servant during Roman times may not have been as scandalous as perceived. Nudity was more normalized during that era, especially among high-ranking members who commonly collected artwork with suggestive themes. For instance, when archaeologists uncovered the frozen-in-time ruins of Herculaneum in Pompeii, they found numerous pieces of art, some of a sexual nature. One particularly shocking artwork recovered from Herculaneum was reportedly ordered to be locked away by the king due to its scandalous nature. Despite such findings, the mural from Cumi, although showcasing a banquet theme, might have been perceived as unfashionable for presenting a style popular two centuries before the second century BC in Campania. Munzi explained that the mural was an early addition to the tomb, not a later inclusion. In other words, at least one burial had occurred before the artist created the paintings, marking the constructive phase of the tomb. The necropolis, associated with Cumi's ancient period, was not exclusively tied to that era. Munzi believes the burial ground continued in use until the early medieval period, coinciding with the Gothic Wars. In the present day, archaeologists have removed the mural from the site for preservation. After painstakingly extracting and collecting fragments discovered in the tomb, they have successfully reassembled it. However, ongoing research is needed to fully understand the mural's story and the public may have to wait for a comprehensive account. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.